loves, it's Ashley Sandrine. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is gonna be a favorites video. I haven't done this in a while. I used to do it and then I stopped and then now I wanted to bring it back. So I am gonna be sharing with you guys some of my skincare favorites, my makeup favorites of the month, and then like some fashion favorites as well. If you guys are interested to see all my favorites for this month, then please continue watching. <laughs> Okay, so we are starting with my skincare favorites. There are only two products for this month. The first one is this one. As you can see, it's pretty used already. This one is called Pear. It is a cream that is for acne. I don't usually get acne, but there was this one time I had like allergies. I don't know, I kind of had bumps here. And I used it, it took me like two to three days and then it was gone, it was flat. It didn't dry it up, it just flattened it and then nawala siya. So I was really, really happy with this. It was actually recommended to me by my parents. Nagpabili sila when we went to Japan. So I used it and it worked on me. So ayun. And I think it's working for my friends also. The girls who went with me on my Japan trip got these ones as well. Kasi nga they saw. I hoarded these. So ayun. Um, I'm super happy with this. This is pretty affordable. If I find it online, I'll put it in the description box so that you guys can buy it as well. Next one is my moisturizer. If you guys don't know yet, I have been loving this one. This is the Eye White Aqua Moisturizer Glow from Eye White Korea. Sobrang ganda nito guys. I swear on it. As in, I have been recommending this to my friends and even my family. Um, I gave one to my dad. I gave one to Ate Vic. Um, it is amazing. It just has this really, really nice glow. Basta it says concentrated brightening and it really does help my skin glow. I have talked about it in my Watson's haul. I have talked about it in my Japan vlog, in one of them, in one of my Japan vlogs. And you guys would see there how clear and bright my skin was. And I also posted a selfie on um, my, just my IG stories and super duper bright ng skin ko because of this. And recently, ito lang naman yung ginagamit ko. I just cleansed my face and then used this one at night and then in the morning it gets really really bright and super duper soft as in sobrang soft i don't know maybe i should insert a selfie here again so that you guys can see lang how my skin looks like in the morning but guys this is amazing it is only i i think 200 something pesos you guys can mostly find it in Watson's, pero people who tag me on Instagram tell me that they have a hard time looking for it because it's always sold out. Guys, my hair shang happen just because I feel like everyone is buying it right now. But um, someone told me it's available in Beauty Manila also and also in Pure Gold. So ayun, if you guys pass by one of those stores, you wanna grab it, go check this out. I swear it's worth it. I really, really love the glow, especially the morning after I wash my face. So yeah, this one is the Eye White Korea Aqua Moisturizer Glow. It's the pink one. Their blue one was also very popular, but this one just has a more glowy effect, a brightening effect. And I really love it. And then for my makeup, you guys have been um, commenting on my Japan vlogs na super ganda ng makeup ko na parang hindi ako, um, hindi nahuhulas the whole day. And super fresh lang. Guys, uh, isang foundation lang yung dala ko that whole time, that whole trip. It was only this one. It's the Lights Camera Action from Superface. I have been talking about this for so long. It's still the same thing I'm using. It's the one on my face right now. Um, I just finished my um, foundation as well. I replaced it with a new one. It is available on my Karis shop. And guys, I have a promo. It is only $900. Um, I don't know if it's if by the time I post this, it's still 900 but yeah, uh, super duper worth it guys. I swear on this as well. I super love it. It is for people like me who are lazy to put on their foundation. This one is simply like this and then you just, oh, there's this punch and then you just open it like this and then you just dab it on your face. Super quick and easy to use. I love it so much makes putting on foundation so much easier. I'm in the shade number one right now. I used to be zero and then now I changed it to one, uh, which is light and it's super nice, guys. They have, uh, in my store, I'll put it in the description box down below. In my store, I have one that has a refill and then if you guys just wanna try it for the first time, I have one that doesn't have a refill as well. So ayun, super affordable na siya for the one that doesn't have a refill. So you guys should get one if you haven't tried it yet. And then, um, 
Recently, sobrang din hatamad ako mag lipstick. So, I have been into like tinted lip balms. So, when I went to Thailand, I got these Pat McGrath lip balms. Uh, they come in threes. Trio sila na minis. And I have been loving the shade called... Wait, ooh. I think it's, yeah, it's called Blow Up. It looks like this. It is like a super duper natural looking color. Um, it's on my lips right now. And it's super natural, lang, but it has a bit of tint, which I like. Para lang I don't look too dull. And at the same time, my lips aren't dry. So, ayun. And then it has a clear one as well. And there's also like a dark reddish one. And it looks like this. I haven't used it yet, but so far, the first color that I really like, which is Blow Up, is really nice. I've been using it most of the time. And I got this package from Glossier. My cousins from the States sent this over. They chose this stuff for me. And I have been loving these two products. I know I'm a bit late, but um, the Glossier Cherry Bomb.com is really nice. I have been using this as well to prep my lips. Yun nga, I have been into like tinted lip balms and this one is a cherry uh, flavored one and it also has a bit of tint. It is a bit reddish which I like. Para nga may color ako and I don't look um, super pale because I used to have the birthdaybomb.com which was just white so wala siyang color but this one does have a bit of tint and it smells really good. So ayun, I like that. And then they also got me this one which is the boy brow. This is my first time to have one. I know I'm so late, but it's really nice. I have been loving it. I've been using it especially on this part of my brows. Parang it looks a bit fluffier and it looks more natural. So it's just a brown mascara. This one is in the shade Brown Brown Brun. And then what I do is so I, I use this brown mascara diba, to fluff my brows. And then I use the K Palette One Day Tattoo Lasting Two Way Eyebrow Liquid. But yeah, this one has a liquid tip and then there's also powder. After I use the boy brow, I use this one and then I just make it a little bit more defined. Um, I use the liquid one first and if cool lang pa din, I use the powder. So I've been using these two for my brows lately. And then um, this isn't makeup, but I got this from Thailand as well. This is called the Siam Pure Inhaler and it looks like this. This is perfect for people like me who get dizzy easily or like mabilis sumakit ulo nyo or you guys get colds. This one has an inhaler in this part. So you just sniff it and it is so strong you guys. Super effective niya. And then at the bottom, there's also a liquid part. So ayun, for your temples or for I think mosquito bites, you guys can use this as well. It's just a very minty product that I like to keep in my bag. Just so that um, I have it in case my head hurts or something. So ayun, this is super affordable. If you guys go to Thailand, they sell the uh, they sell this in packs, as in like marami siya and mura lang siya. So yeah, this one is the Siam Pure. And then we are moving on to my favorite scents. Um, if you guys know me, you would know how much I love vanilla scented anything or vanilla flavored anything. Kahit candles, perfume, lip balms, everything. And I found something, well actually I've had this for a while but this is one of my favorite perfumes. As you can see guys, medyo pa ubus na siya. Um, this one is The Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. And this perfume has been with me for a while. I super duper love this. I, I use it for my events especially. Sobrang bango niya. This is um, a bit sweet and a bit vanilla-ish. And I really, really love this. It is a bit pricey, but it's worth it. And it lasts me the whole day. I think that perfume cost me around like 3,000 to 4,000 plus if I remember correctly. I bought it sa SM. And then there are also um, two affordable scents that I like. This one is from BLK. They recently released their new um, fragrance line and this one is just a body mist and super affordable din naman niya. So I really like these two. They're the autumn and winter scents. Right now I sprayed on the winter scent kanina and I can smell myself and it smells really good. Ito kasi it's a bit more minty and it has like a green tea scent. Kind of like the um, the one by Elizabeth Arden. Na parang green tea na perfume nila. And then this one naman smells really good as well. Um, it's a very classy, floral ish scent. So, ayan, I like both of these. And then we are moving on to the bags that I like. Um, 
I mean, everyone's been into tote bags recently, di ba? And I actually have an online store on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, it is at not.diary. I usually sell like um, accessories and tote bags there. And if you guys are interested, just go check that out. One of my favorite tote bags from that store is this one. It's super cute. It's the Bubble Girl Sling. It has a long handle and then you can wear it as a crossbody. And then it has a zipper which I really like. So dito ko nilalagay yung mga extra stuff ko. Pag alam ko hindi siya kasha sa um, small bag ko that I'm using for the day. It's just a perfect um, handy bag that you guys can just, you know, um, you wouldn't worry about taking care of it because it's just a canvas bag and you know you can wash it naman. So super convenient niya and I really like it. And then next, I recently just got this. It's a Fendi chef bag and it's so beautiful you guys it just has the fendi logo all over it and then it says fendi here as well and i like it because it's very spacious i used this recently and i had all my stuff are in here and it just fits a lot of stuff guys for the size na ganito, it looks pretty small but when you wear it sobrang daming malalaman and the size is perfect i really love it i'm so in love with it it's a vintage bag but i'm super happy with it and then, I also have this one, which is a smaller Prada bag. Um, it looks really tiny, but it actually fits a lot. I have been using this also for a while now. And ang ganda niya, Tony inspired me to buy this because she's been into vintage bags and she shared it with me. So I am. Thanks, Tony, for um, letting me know all about it. But yeah, I really like this. And my only problem with this is, I mean, it has a lock, which is good, but it doesn't have a zipper, so it's pretty open here but at least there's this one to keep it safe and if you wear it naman na ganyan i mean um hindi naman siguro mahuhulog yung stuff so you just have to be a little bit more careful but it's really 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 cute and then i have been into film cameras lately i know you guys have been asking for a video about film cameras and i'm sorry i haven't filmed yet pero I am showing you guys one of my favorite cameras, which is this one. Actually, this is my favorite because um, this one is very special to me. It is a Leica Mini Lux Zoom. It is a film camera and it's pretty pricey. This was given to me by my boyfriend, Ref. It was an advanced anniversary gift just because he knew how much I loved film cameras and how I've been so into it. So, I, on this one, you have to get it developed. You need to put in film and everything. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do a video talaga for real for real if you guys are interested if I, I do one because I have um, I think eight cameras now and I have been just trying them out and super enjoying it this one though I've been using it more often just because the quality is so so nice and yeah, I'm super thankful my boyfriend got it for me he got this for I think um, 20 plus thousand pesos and they don't i don't think they sell it in the market anymore so you really have to find someone that already owns it from a long time ago so yeah this is my leica camera and then i have also been into cardigans lately as in favorite kasha this one is one of them it is a really cute cardigan inspired by Jenny from Blackpink. Um, I got it from Fashion Chingu. It's an oversized sweater. Super cute nya. And then I also have this one which is a super classy one. I haven't worn this yet but I got it from Thailand. And oh my gosh, I'm so in love with it. I have a photo of me wearing the white version of this though. I'll put it here. It is on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, it's at Ashley Sandrine. Ayon, I got this. I got both of them from Thailand, and I have been into cardigans, and I really, really like it, just because it looks so classy. And then for my favorite book from this month, I used to read a lot, and then I stopped. And then there was this one week, one whole week, wherein we didn't have Wi-Fi at home. I don't know for some reason PLDT had a problem, and. Um, I was trying to look for ways to entertain myself, so I ended up reading a really, really nice book. Ito lang yung book na na download ko sa phone ko, and because we didn't have Wi Fi, I ended up reading the whole thing as in, in just one sitting. Um, I used to be um, a bookworm talaga, so mabilis ako magbasa. So this book is called The Next Person You Meet in Heaven, which is by Mitch Album. He's a very famous writer. He wrote Tuesdays with Maury and The Five People You Meet in Heaven, and I really love those two books they're more about life lessons and about um, I don't know just a 
I really like his books. The first one I read, which was uh, Tuesdays by Maury, is really good. You guys should read it if you guys haven't yet. And then the next one is The Five People You Meet in Heaven. And then the book that I read was a continuation of that, which was The Next Person You Meet in Heaven. And it, it just has like so many life stories. It's about this girl who almost passed away. And then there were people she met in heaven and it shows you how everyone is connected and like how the people you don't even know make an impact on your life do make an impact on your life and you meet them in heaven and like it was just amazing parang how the story was all interconnected and I don't know I ended up crying it was really really nice if you guys haven't read it you guys should check that out it's about just about how short life is and like a lot of lessons talaga. I can't pinpoint them one by one but it was a really good book and yeah um, that's basically it for all my favorites this month I hope you guys enjoyed and please comment down below your favorites just anything favorite books favorite perfume favorite whatever so that I can get inspiration from you guys as well and comment down below which one was your favorite as well um, from everything that I showed you guys and please don't forget to hit the like button click subscribe if you haven't yet and click on that bell notification button so that you guys get notified every time I post a new video I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching loves